Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Maven project to work with uh, Mokito 2. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new project and let's select Maven. And let's leave it as a, um, you know, JDK 1.8, or you can use any version greater than that. That's fine. So the group ID is craft of programming as usual .com. The artifact ID, let's call it Mokito uh, 2 Gradle example. Uh, sorry, not Gradle, Maven example. Um, and Mokito 2, maybe an example, and let's create it. I don't know why it's defaulting to. Um, okay, this is fine. Let's default into this location and let's create the project. So the first time you open it, you may have this question here, enable auto import. I highly recommend that. This is so that every change you make to the Maven POM, you don't have to actually refresh IntelliJ to sync the, you know, the IntelliJ uh, cache with the uh, POM file. Just enable auto import and this is going to make your life um, easier. So after you import and you enable auto import, uh, the first time you open the project, just make sure, come here to the Maven window and make sure that you actually have, uh, so let's refresh this. So make sure that you actually have the Maven window here and also try to run some task. It doesn't really matter what, for example, clean, just to make sure that, you know, you got a successful build success. Let's make sure that, you know, everything is correctly imported and, you know, you start with a clean uh, build. So uh, also notice that in terms of external libraries, the only library you have is the JDK. So now let's add the um, um, the um, Mokito to dependency. So let's uh, create the dependencies uh, element and inside the dependencies element, let's add the dependency. The Mokito is org Mokito and the artifact ID for Mokito is Mokito core and let's use the uh, latest version. Okay, so now um, notice because I select auto import, then this change that I made, IntelliJ automatically sync that, you know, the project with these changes. Notice I didn't have to, you know, refresh, come here to the Maven window. And uh, if I can go there, I didn't have to select refresh. As soon as I added that, IntelliJ automatically downloaded the uh, Mokito uh, core. So this is basically the uh, dependency you need for Mokito core. Um, so if you want to do, um, you know, JUnit uh, testing, uh, I've I've have a, another video. I'm going to put a link here on how to set up a JUnit five um, project in Maven. But just you know, very quickly here, let me add another dependency for um, uh, JUnit uh, five which is, uh, you basically had to add org JUnit uh, Jupyter and the artifact ID is the Jupyter, JUnit Jupyter uh, API and um, let's add uh, the version again I'm just going to pick the latest version uh, or maybe the stable release version and I'm going to have to have another dependency with the um, Jupyter engine. So let's say Jupyter engine. Okay. So all of this stuff should be downloading. Uh, actually, I think I have here a typo if I'm not mistaken, because this is actually dash. I believe that's the way it is. So if everything goes well, I should see here the uh, Jupyter 
uh, the Jupyter API and the Jupyter engine and perhaps you might want Hamcrest as well so again let me uh, add a dependency for it for Hamcrest so that you know you have in a single place all of the uh, you know all of the configuration that you will need for for uh, if you're using Maven to do Mokito testing with JUnit 5 and uh, you know the companion um, so Hamcrest and um, again you can just use the release version here okay so let's see we should see here so let's see we have uh, Hamcrest we have Jupyter API we have Jupyter Engine and we obviously have the Mokito core so um, and again if I run my uh, you know any task again like clean then everything sh should still be fine and so this is basically how you set up a very simple bare bones Mokito 2 uh, project and um, you know now I'm going to show you how to actually write a simple um, you know Mokito to um, test using stubs uh, I'm going to be using a little bit of uh, Gradle to comp to basically run the tasks uh, because that's an existing project I have but you know uh, in Maven this would be completely equivalent you just have to go here to the Maven window and run the appropriate uh, you know test uh, task so I hope you found this um, introduction to uh, Mokito and stubbing useful I am Nilton from craftofprogramming.com thanks for watching